Morning guys, and this week we have this beautiful Adria twin axle beastie in from us and it is here to have our 360 degree HD camera system and some audio upgrades. So you can join me on our journey all the way through our process of works and then our final video at the end. Now we have done quite a few of these videos, so I won't bore you to death, but again, our 360 degree camera system, it comprises of four cameras. They're all full HD compared to others on the market. and They're 180 degree wide, so you've got a really nice viewing angle. Rich has done another one of his custom brackets on the front here to allow the camera to be at the outermost part of the vehicle and to see as much as he can of the road ahead and for, of course, the 360 software. So now we're gonna have a quick look at one of the side cameras. Most importantly, we always measure down the width of the vehicle to get absolutely dead center. We try and go dead center for every single side camera because it's important that the camera has got such an important job to do that we're giving it the best possible chance. Now this is as high as it can be on the vehicle. Obviously we've got the awning and we've got the vents for the fridge and the oven and then we've gone absolutely dead center. And as I said at the beginning, it's a 180 degree camera, but full HD. And now we're gonna have a quick look at the one at the back. The one at the back as well does differ because not all of the motorhomes that we work on can actually have the camera as high as this one. This one, we've gone extremely high, whereas a lot of the rear motorhomes or the bigger ones that have a rear garage have a bed in between, so we can't get access to this. What we've done here, we've sat just below the factory camera that was fitted. The reason why we can't remove that camera is because there's quite a big hole behind it and our camera won't cover that damage. Um, so we have to leave the existing camera in shop, but not a problem, there's our camera. And again, if you imagine I'm up on a ladder and I can see all the way back. So if you are driving in the UK or over the, on the continent, you've got a really nice clear HD view behind you. And that's what makes this system spot on. So uh, you joined us kind of midway through doing the 360, 360 system, uh, which is what I'm kind of concentrating at the moment. Owen's doing the um, speakers, so dealing with trying to work around some of the panels um, that are removable, some aren't removable. Uh, so we just get in there and uh, do everything we can in terms of sound deadening, getting everything prepped for the speakers and stuff like that. So he's been working hard at that. And um, yeah, I've been concentrating on the 360 uh, set up for where the hard drive's going, uh, running all the various cables for the uh, screen. So the monitor's gonna go up on here on the dash uh, using a similar amount to this one. So the monitor's gonna kind of sit here. So I've been running through the HDMI and power cable for that. I've got the GPS to run all through behind under these units. So a lot of this isn't removable. So we obviously have to work a lot with draw wires and plan our routes for everything so that uh, everything's all run really nicely. You don't get any rattles, knocks or anything like that. This is obviously where the company that built the motorhome went with their whole ledger system. So that's where I've decided to stick the hard drive. Can I kind of keep, it's in keeping with, you know, everything to do with the van in terms of everything running and stuff like that. So I've had to, Move the uh, DC converter, that's gonna shift over by about an inch and a half. Gives me a nice amount of room for our hard drive that's gonna sit in here. Uh, all the cables that don't really need accessing will be down underneath and then run across underneath the floor. But the important stuff, so you can see all the lighting for it working and also USB um, for if there was some sort of update or even when we're setting up and calibrating the whole system and loading on our files onto it, it's all nice and accessible. Uh, plus it will then just look really nice and neat. So that's where we're at at the moment really. Uh, once I've got all these bits and pieces in, run all these various cables that I've currently got coiled here, uh, we can then start looking at camera placements on the side, back and the front of the van and getting all those leads through into this area. OK, 
Okay, right, sat in the cab, uh, lovely big spacious in this particular vehicle, and we've gone for our usual on the dash um, monitor. So the monitor is a 10.1 inch HD monitor. It is controlled via an HDMI lead to give you that really nice um, full HD picture. I'm gonna switch it on now, and you've got our advanced in-car boot up screen whilst the system loads. The system incorporates a full normal computer hard drive. The hard drive is one terabyte, so it stores all of your recording and also doubles up as a dash camera, which is again, what makes this system so unique. Once the system is up and running, you don't need to view it on your navigation system in the vehicle. You've got your own standalone screen. So you never have to worry about switching over whilst you're driving, it's there in front of you. Of course, we get the drone up into the air. We take uh, a lovely shot of the roof of your vehicle, so if it's clean, even better. And then Ryan here will cut that image out and we can superimpose it into the software. And again, that's what makes this system so fantastic. Once the system is then wired up, all the four cameras are connected, we'll get the calibration boards out. The calibration part is probably the most important setup of this because if we don't calibrate the system, the four cameras don't talk to each other, which means that you're not going to get the overall effect of what you need and you're not gonna get this. Again, I have to be careful not to drone on. And the reason I say that is because we take days and days to fit this system. This is done meticulously through pride and care, but what you get as an end result is some really nice, clean, crisp HD images. Um, and a system that is gonna protect you and your investment. And that's the reason why we get customers traveling from all over the UK for us to fit this system. Also, at the same time, we've done audio in here. So I've just diversified somewhat. We've done audio, we've done the Alpine component speakers in here. Up on the dashboard, you might be able to see in shot the tweeters. We've also done subwoofer and we've done sound deadening as well, just to tighten up the audio so that when these guys are on the next road trip, they can turn up the volume and enjoy their music as well. Now, back to the main features of this 360 degree high definition system. We've got down here on my switch panel, the simple on and off. This customer's gone for the leisure battery hookup, which basically means the key doesn't have to be in the ignition and it works independently. So if you are parked up somewhere, you can switch it on, turn off the monitor, and it can be recording to give you protection as well. The middle of the three switches is the momentary switch. The momentary switch will allow you, whilst you're driving, to switch between three different modes. The reason for this is because you might want to see down both sides of the vehicle. Now, one of these settings is shows you your aerial view of the motorhome. On the left is the left camera, on the right is the right camera, and that gives you a nice clear view, which is really handy. The second um, mode is now showing the normal 30% view on the left-hand side. Again, you can see on the images anyway, but shows the aerial shot of the motorhome and the front camera. The front camera's working really hard here because it's the lowest of all the cameras and the software has to work really hard to give that really nice clear image. And then the final one is the default view of the rear camera. Now the rear camera is really nice and high, high definition and really clean, especially on a day like this. Now, if we go to um, one of our final views and that is landscape. Landscape basically means that you've got your normal view that's on the left hand side of the screen, full screen, but horizontal. This means that you can see all around the vehicle. Now we've got somebody walking past now, you can just see their legs in the back. So it's weird how the software works to stitch all four images together and more so on a vehicle like this because we're over eight meters. Right, that's it. That's the 360 in done dusted. We're done. So it's been a busy week. We have fitted our 360 system in its entirety, calibrated, tested, Tested again, tested again, absolutely put a spot on and perfect. We've also done our Alpine component speaker upgrade. We've done our Alpine subwoofer. We've done our stage one and stage three sound deadening. 
gonna phone the customer and say, we're all ready for collection for tomorrow. He's gonna be absolutely delighted and on their next road trip um, is going to benefit from this beautiful 360 and some better audio inside the van as well. If you've got a vehicle like this and you want something done by us down here in Dorset, then please get in touch with us. We work hard and the team here work hard to make sure we do absolute perfection for you. Um, and that's the most important thing. Don't forget to follow us on socials. Website is motorhomeretrofits.co.uk. And as usual, thanks for watching.